Hello Sparkle Squad, this is Monica and today I am coming to you to show you a little centerpiece that I'm going to be making for my table and it's going to be something just simple in some neutral tones for pictures that we will have taken of our home tomorrow to put it on the market and sell so that we can move to Kentucky. Originally I was going to purchase an arrangement from my local florist so that I could just have it quick and easy. However, due to the snowy weather and the holidays, I did not have that option available to me. So I just went to my local Albertsons grocery store and purchased flowers that I thought would work and I will show you what I'm trying to match it to. Here is the fireplace that we have and you've seen my previous wreaths before that I have made to decorate my mantle. This is the newest one that I have done where I'm using some neutral colors. I had actually just pulled out the oranges that you saw in the fall wreath that I made. Kept a lot of the beiges and whites. Added a little bit more of those tones and focused on the green. This is what I'm trying to match it to for my dining room table. And I'm hoping that with the flowers that I purchased at the grocery store, I will come up with something that is going to coordinate beautifully with this. So here is my dining room table and I want to change it from drab to fab. This is an old table. This is something that we originally bought used as one of my in-laws, her mother had passed away and she wanted to get rid of some of the furniture in the home. So I chose to get the hutch and the dining room table. So the chairs are a little bit la lacking to be desired. We just have never been able to find someone that can reupholster them and repair them. But they're not in horrible shape. They Eventually I will learn how to do the upholstery of the chairs myself because it seems like that is a skill that people no longer like to do anymore. I had this left in my hutch. This is an Austrian crystal dish that I have had forever and have never even used. This is what I'm going to use for the base of the table arrangement. I think this will lend itself well to the design that I'm going for. It's kind of dressy, but it's not too much. And there's no color to this. All of the color will be in the neutral tones that will be going inside the vase. So it'll actually be a nice rounded, and full arrangement here in this bowl to coordinate nicely with the wreath on the wall. So let's get started. So these are the roses. These are very pretty. They've got kind of a blush beigey pink in the center with some green surrounding the outer edges and the wreath. Then this is an arrangement that they had already together for New Year's that has some of the same types of flowers like these little um, carnations or whatever these things are that I have in the wreath and along with the green and stuff so I thought that that would look very nice so I'm gonna go ahead and just take these apart and I'm gonna be cutting quite a bit off so that I can put it into this bowl so they're not gonna be very tall I will need to size accordingly so that the center is the peak of the floral arrangement the sides will be the lowest point around. If you want to minimize your mess, you can actually just do your cutting on top of the wrapping. Here's the floral preserve. So you might wanna go ahead and just open that up and put it into your bowl, which is what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna be putting some cool water in here to feed the flowers as I'm working along. And if you have floral foam that you wanted to do something like that with, you could. However, that would be like you're using your fake flowers. So I'm not going to be using any kind of foam due to the fact I'm not using fake flowers. But also, I'm not planning to put any of these flowers on picks. So I'm just going to use their natural stems to help me with the overall design. These are some really lovely flowers. They've got hydrangea here, which are those really beautiful flowers. And I think I'm going to have this be the center, this hydrangea, and then have everything else around it. Just kind of put these where you want. And then when I get to the rose part, I'll be working those in. So I'm going on either side of this hydrangea that I want here in the center. And then now I'm going to go ahead and open up some roses. These are really long so I can go ahead and cut off what I know I'm not going to use. 
when you do these roses or any flowers actually you can do it like a side cut so let me come over here I'll show you when I put my so your stem come above wherever you see a shoot and then go above that and cut at an angle so that you have it like this which draws up the water into your rows and helps to refresh them here you can see that I've got that hydrangea in the center but of course right now it's really loose so I'm going to put, be poking in these roses all around to try to prop up my overall design and kind of get things how I want them you can, I can use this rose as a guide as far as the height that I want so what I mean what I mean by that is I take both flowers and cut this off at that same spot at an angle this is below that little bud right here that little knot I forget what you actually call that so I'm just going to come up just a little bit so it will be a little bit shorter than the other one but that way you can use it as a guide on how you want to cut the sizes but of course you're going to be adjusting that as you work around the edges or go in the into the center Hey guys so here is the finished arrangement for the moment I have the champagne bottle poked down in there but I am more than likely going to pull that out and just leave it as the floral arrangement but this is what it looks like on all sides and I did try to keep that hydrangea there in the center to sort of anchor the other flowers around the bouquet. I didn't have to use any floral foam. I didn't have to use anything other than just the bowl that I had and the water with the preservative in it. All the stems of the flowers and everything are balancing themselves. You do want to be sure that your water reaches all of the stems. Just bear that in mind when you make the cuts and you're putting these into whatever the bowl or the vase is that you are using when you do your own arrangement. But if I purchased this from the delivery service, I would have easily probably had to pay 70 bucks for this size of an arrangement. So it fits my needs. Wish us luck. Have a sparklerific new year, y'all. Bye.